SQ, are you suggesting that men and women who cheat on their spouses should not tell their spouses? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Because if Allah has covered your sin, do not unveil it. Way of Life SQ, keeping it a hundred. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so grateful, thankful. And that you decided to not skip this intro even though it's super cringe and decided to spend some of your time here with me today. You cheated on your spouse, your wife, your husband. Don't tell them. Look, I know that's a very controversial thing to say. I know the title thumbnail's probably clickbaity. The brother changed the title. Don't worry about all that, right? Uh, I actually wasn't going to do this video today. It just sort of popped up. If you know me by now and you have subscribed, you know I'm doing daily videos now, uncut, straight to the face. You already know. Uh, keep it at 100 to a different level. Uh, I got this uh, comment from one of you guys, and you know I love those comments. Not because of the algorithm. I don't give a damn about the algorithm. I care about connecting with you guys. So whenever you leave some comments, you don't believe me, I heart all of them and respond to as many as I can, which is almost 95% of them. Okay, uh, this this person, not going to say their name, I'm going to pop up right here, uh, mentioned that they were abroad, uh, and um, I guess they feel so guilty, obviously, about this, but they're abroad without their wife and children, and they ended up having sex with a prostitute. I know, let's go! Let's talk about Allah, what are you talking well, we got to talk about it, right? Because people are doing it. We got to talk about these things, okay? So this person had sex with a the prostitute. They're obviously uh, very nervous about potentially STDs and all that. But mainly, it's just like, man, I, I cheated on my on my wife. SQ, what should I do? Well, the first thing foremost, get yourself checked out and all that because you want to, you know, you don't want, you don't want no, you don't want the hibs down there. You don't want the herps down there. You know what I mean? Um, but do not tell your spouse. Don't. Let me tell you why. Okay. You see, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is a satir. Whoa. Is that UPS? Okay. I thought it was my hijama client, guys. You know I have a hijama clinic. Uh, I'm like, I'm not expecting them yet, so what's up with that? Anyways. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is a satir, right? A satir. Meaning he is the one who covers and conceals you. He veils you. Okay. If he veils you, it is your responsibility to not unveil yourself. Okay, I could understand if you're sharing a quote unquote sin or a less sin from your past for benefit for people. And even then, that's very controversial. Hence, a lot of people are like telling me not to do so, so on and so forth. Okay, but here's the thing this sin will affect others as well, too. And if Allah has concealed you and your infidelity, do not expose it. However, this does not give you license to continue infidelity. Does that make sense? Let me give you, let me, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me try to explain this to you. You had a lapse in judgment. You slipped up. You messed up. Your guilt is telling you to tell your spouse. Your guilt is telling you to tell your spouse. Okay, so, so here's the thing. Here's the thing. You know I'm recording something right now, and the TV's on mad loud. So you guys aren't going to be in my videos moving forward anymore. That's wrong. Some of you are like, SQ, just record it in separate. I don't want to record it in a separate room. Jeez, man, leave me alone. You know what this video was really going to be about? Originally, before I talked about this and I got this comment, it was about um, addressing and how to deal with haters, trolls, and doubters. Because, you know, a lot of times you read these comments, and I am, and if it can affect me, and I'm pretty strong, alhamdulillah, imagine how it affects other people. If I could get affected with hater comments and all that sort of stuff, imagine a regular person who could... Anyways, we're going to get that video uh, as well too. Stay tuned for that video. And it was the Adam Salah video that I did over here. Oh, just, just watch it. Okay. The guilt is causing you to want to explain and tell your spouse that you cheated on them. It's the guilt because you are selfishly thinking about yourself. Don't think you're thinking about them. You're not. You're thinking about yourself. You want to lighten the load of your guilt. But the truth of the matter is that that might be something that you have to live with to help you draw closest to Allah. If you tell them you are exposing your own sin, something that Allah has concealed for you. I know this is a very controversial thing to say. SQ, are you suggesting that men and women who cheat on their spouses should not tell their spouses? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Because if Allah has covered your sin, do not unveil it. However, 
do not take advantage of Allah's covering. Some people like to test those boundaries. Okay, some people like to test those boundaries and they're like, you know what, Allah hasn't exposed me, let me keep doing it. There's one thing to have a lapse in judgment, mess up, seek Allah's forgiveness and promise Allah you won't do it again. And then there's another thing to continuously do it in hopes that Allah just continues to hide your sin and hide you from doing things. And that is wrong. Allah gives you that buffer for as a covering so that you can turn back to Him, you can rectify your life, you can fix yourself up. But the main thing is guys, like if you done mess up, and everyone's gonna mess up. Honestly, if you knew what kind of sins or, excuse me, sorry. What kind of sins or harms I do to myself when the cameras aren't on, you would completely, like be like, SQ, come on bro, I expected better from you. But it is Allah's mercy who covers me up. And, I, and my own forgiveness that I'm just like, Allah, I promise I'm getting better. I'm trying to get better. I'm trying to get better. And this is going to continue on. But if I'm trying to like live a double life where I'm all, like, you know, on the low trying to do something sneaky on purpose to hide from my wife. Like if this, uh, this dude is talking about doing this continuously whenever he's on a business trip to do such a thing like that, that is wrong. You understand? That's why, and if you guys don't know, I'm having a new TV show coming soon, inshallah. Uh, we're filming in Las Vegas, so I will be back in Las Vegas sometime this week. Not sure exactly, but I'm, uh, I'm interviewing uh, the NBA prayer, uh, prayer. <laughs> the NBA player, Nate Robinson, if you know who he is, ex-Nick, you already know what it is. Um, and now he's going to be fighting Jake Paul, so I'm going to get that interview with him and just see what's up with him. But uh, stay tuned for that. If you watch my videos daily, then you already know you're not going to miss it. But if not, uh, I'm not going to tell you subscribe because I don't really think I need to have you subscribe to my channel. I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't really care if you subscribe or not. I'm happy with the little family that I have now. Believe me, I am. I'm, I'm happy with the um, subscribers that I have now, the viewers that I have. I, I'm happy with that because let me, let me tell you why I'm happy. Because that's what Allah wants for me. And if Allah wants that for me, then I'm happy with that. It's simple as that. I'm content with what I have. If Allah gives me more, alhamdulillah. If Allah doesn't give me more, alhamdulillah. So now, you're someone out there. And, and the reason I mentioned Vegas is because I went to Vegas by myself. Do you know how much fitna is out there? I'm not even playing. And let, let's, let's just keep it 100. You know, you know I'm kind of swaggy. You know, I'm a good looking dude. Allahumma barak. You know my swagger, you know the drip is always right. You know how I know how to speak to people. I'm very well versed with how to spit game and bad chicks. I'm very well versed in these things, you know what I mean? I know what I'm doing, but you know how much fitness is out there? So in my contract with my team, with the production company, in my contract, it is stated the following, that my family must travel with me. Why? Not only do I miss my family, but it's designed for me to help keep that connection and stay loyal and true to myself and to my family and keep that connection there because I am one slip up, one bad decision, one nafsi nafsi away from doing something that I'll regret for the rest of my life. You understand? So my advice to this brother is if you're taking business trips, try your best to have your family along with you. And if not, try your best to actually not be alone too much and you know, not using your room too often for anything like that because you have to know what triggers you to want to do those things. Because once you do it, once you do it, yes, you will feel bad. But the shaitan will be like, listen, you know how to do it already. So you'll be able to do it again. And if some of you are out there who have done something that you feel was very, you know, infidelity sort of vibes to it, seek Allah's forgiveness and do what you have to do to remove that from your life. And ask yourself, why were you practicing infidelity? Why did you cheat on them, right? What's missing in your relationship that you had to go outwardly, outside to someone else to fulfill that? Why isn't there enough abundance in your love, in your marriage that's causing you to talk to other people? These are questions you gotta ask yourself. These are questions I gotta ask myself, right? So if you're ever feeling any type of downness, and by the way, infidelity doesn't have to be that you just slept on them, you just slept on them with them, you know what I mean? It can also be you're trying to talk to someone else, or you are talking to someone, or maybe you're getting a little flirtatious with someone else. Ask yourself, what are you missing within your own marriage, your own circumstance or situation that's causing you to, you know, look towards other places? What are you lacking in your life that uh, is causing you to want to do all these things? Guys, I appreciate you watching uh, this. I pray that this benefits those who need it. I'm not concerned with so many people watching it. I, if, if you're watching this right now and if you made it to the end by some miracle, just know it's because Allah wanted this message to hit your ears. 
You might never have done, done any infidelity or thinking about infidelity. You might not even be married yet, right? But there's a reason that you heard this. And it'll come in handy. Imagine Slumdog Millionaire, right? It'll come in handy one day. This message will come in handy one day. I appreciate you guys watching this so much. Uh, if you would like to spend a little bit more time with me, click any of these two videos over here. One video is best for viewer. That means uh, YouTube thinks that you are going to like this video. And the last one is my latest uploaded uh, video. Sometimes they're the same because all my videos are bangers. I appreciate you guys so much. Until next time, I'm out.